So, I love perfumes. Smell, scents, fragrances. Love them all. It's been a little while since I wanted to talk about this brand that I truly deeply enjoy. I tried to record this video multiple times this month and there was always something. Here we are. And today I want to talk about the brand Versatile. Versatile as you prefer. Versatile is a beautiful brand. First, look at the size of it. It is eco-friendly, well-designed. The founder, Kohali, fantastic human being. Such a powerful woman, high region, we love that. Second, she has conceived a brand which is not only great itself, but also deeply conscious. She has been studying and working in the field of fragrances and decided to create her own and she made it really well. All of the fragrances have been created with Flair, which is a nose agency, if we can say that. They are specialized into creating perfume arrangements and launching a scent. Then, just take a look at the packaging. How small, compact, light, easy, practical it is. This little bottle is at least concentrated at 32 person perfume. It is a lot. If you know how much your traditional perfume, like the one that you spray, is concentrated, you would be terrified. But those, those are made with oils and are highly, highly concentrated. Because the oil is also the perfect set base for scents because it will encapsulate the flavor and it will drip like silk onto your skin and develop all of those aromas. We love that. The brand is non-gender, culture-free, as responsible as possible. We love that too. They are tiny, they are powerful and they smell delicious. And I will start with the first fragrance, which is one of the most well-known and the one that sometimes people stop me in the street to ask me what am I wearing. But this is the Café Croissant. It smells like a perfect French breakfast. Ooh, love it. It's the first perfume that I had from the brand. Because I, I offered this brand to all of my surroundings but never got one for myself and I recently got one. Then got the wool offered by the brand, by Kohali, because we work together. Because those perfumes, they bring so much ideas and inspirations that we have to combine it with food. Because they're mostly food based, so it makes sense. Café Croissant is a Neo Tonka, so Tonka bean. This kind of bean in between chocolate, vanilla, quite deep. This is what it is. The description says coffee, cappuccino, gourmand, gourmet, unctuous, creamy, toasted, woody, butter and hot or warm. This version definitely is heartwarming. It really smells like you just wake up into a warm, cozy, blanket and pillow, you're in a warm home and you start baking or having a fresh croissant, having your cafe au lait with it. So these are the first notes that we have when we smell it. It really has notes of caramel, vanilla, butter and those perfumes have to apply just a tiny bit. Well, just applying a really tiny bit here because I'm going to use my hands because I feel like the skin is the best canva for such perfumes so you just i just put a little drop but then go ahead and place it to your wrist and behind your ears and massage a bit usually we do not rub our wrists together because otherwise it eradicates the scent but here you can and here you have the first note of something really powerful coming and this feels like the tonka bean is developing those hot note of milky aroma something sweet, something that surrounds us, yet not overwhelming because we still have a lot of freshness. Like a freshly baked croissant that we take outside, go back to our home with this little basket of gorgeousness and place it on the table and it smells like the outside. See what I mean? It smells like something woody as the base, then it develops into something more creamy and on top something fresh and tangy. But we definitely have a pet warming core. Love this one. Then I would love to stay onto the same kind of notes and I will go ahead with Gurdubwa, Hangover, if you properly translate it. She wanted to play with words because it really smells woody and kind of 
I wanted to say alcohol, like that's totally not the word I was looking for. But it smells like this rich alcohol aroma. You will see, you will smell it. So Gueule de Bois is a neo sandalwood, spicy, pepper, incense, rum, ambery, syrupy to a warm woody. It really differs from Café Croissant. First sniff at the roll, it smells more amber and fresh, more fruity. Definitely smell the pepper as well, the pink pepper. I'm gonna place it on the other side here and rub gently. So you can really smell the deepness of it. All of them have been beautifully curated, created. So you can smell all of the different notes. There's no the hurt notes, the head notes. It develops. As a top note, we have something like cherry, something peppery, and a little bit of spice. As a base note, we have this tender wood, something musky, something toasted as well. And one of the most important notes is this rum. This rum and tobacco. It almost feels like you have spent the evening in a man's cave. Just frame it up. In this little game cave, you play cards, you drunk rum, the spicy, angry rum, and you fall asleep over there, woke up the next morning, and you're like, what the heck happened here? And you have all of these notes of almost cold tobacco, rum, a caramelized rum onto the table. It's kind of this vibe, but more clean, much more clean. We definitely have something a bit more balsamic and vanilla y that round it up. And it almost smells like candy, a bit buttery as well. And that's why for this particular fragrance, we have created Gueule de Hol, which are our kind of cinnamon rolls with different papers and they'll be new. And this is more fragrance that I will wear in autumn and winter since it is a bit more spicy. Then, if we continue on through this story of what hangover the next morning, we have Dimanche Flemme, which translates to Sunday laziness. Totally fit to our story. And Dimanche Flemme is one of my favorite ones. This one is so vibrant and bubbly, pétillant. It is so good. This one is a Mio Musk, green, basil, sparkling, cardamom, milky, almond, vanilla, musky, and soft. When we open the bowl, we directly have something zesty and green, and an endotone, like a deep endotone. We smell the earth, we smell the basil, we smell something citrusy, like lemon, bergamot, lime. I will place this one over there. Those roll on are so satisfying, you have a warm sensation onto your skin. Love that. I can rub in the oil to develop the aromas, the notes. And here we have something clean. You know the cleanness I was talking about? Here it is. It smells clean. It's not fussy. You want a fragrance that, just for this day, you, you're just freaking lazy, you don't want to do anything, you want something soft, something vibrant, something... I'm just taking this one. Just take this one and apply it. And boom, you're vibrant, you're fresh, you're green, you're clean. With a little depth. The mask definitely brings this depth. The note of cardamom at this little touch of spice it just evokes your personality. It smells a bit woody, softly. It is a bit powdery, always into this clean aspect. You can smell something fruity. It's green pea, but there's also some bit of dark fruit behind this freshness of this green pea. And everything combined together just gorgeous. It is a smell that I've never smelled before. And the recipe I have created for this fragrance is La Tartoche Tartine, made on a super soft bread with two different dips. One with green pea, basil, herbs, lemon, zests. And the other one is a whipped coconut cream with some pea shoots and a sprinkle of cardamom with some more zest. So you have everything. No fussy once again, laziness. You have everything onto one toast. It's soft, like for me, somehow. Love this one. Next one in line, we have Pital Date. Pital is the name given for someone from Italy and date, going on a date with an Italian. This one, so fresh, fruity, zesty, lemony, with such a subtle touch that you will discover. So this one is a Neo Lemon, aromatic, fresh, pesto, tasty, zesty, limoncello, sweet, sugary, pistachio, creamy. 
if this doesn't sell you a dream, I don't know. This one for me is almost like a haute cologne, something fresh that you will add after your shower, after a long day, under the sun, by the beach, on the beach, take a shower, a little refreshment before you go out after. This is the one. This is the feel you want to have with it on a warm skin. Place this fresh fragrance on you. So this fit and date, when you open it and smell it, you directly have this feel of eau de cologne. So something fresh, something lemony and spicy. It smells spicy. This little cheap pepper that you will see hanging in the Italian streets definitely smells sunny. But I feel like the citrusy, like the bergamot, lemon, lemongrass, something really herbal as well. Almost woody, but kind of a fresh wood, like citrus, pine, or even the aromatic herbs. This is herbal, thyme, rose, Rosemary, basil, you got it all. Like a real beautiful herbal bouquet, but Mediterranean bouquet. Place it over there, rub gently my wrist together. And here we have it, the depth. We can smell something a bit more woody, smoky, sensual if that makes sense. More like skin or leather. That's why it's called a little data. Yeah, something a bit more musky. Really like someone's skin, like warm skin yet fresh. If I have a story, if there's a fragrance that you could share with your lover, I'm sharing it with my lover. You are on vacation in Italy. You are wandering into the tiny street, in all of those vendors of beautiful lemon. Then you go to the beach, the whole day, meet someone on your way back and invites you to go to a restaurant, to eat some pasta, come back home, have a nice shower, get pretty, super quickly, just dressed up as you are, all fresh, got that, and you're good to go. Then you go see your bello italiano, and he's wearing the same thing. You're kind of sharing this moment together, it's warmth, and you can smell that on his skin, fragrance develop in a different way and you both share a bowl of spaghetti al pesto because this this is the hurt note and food is the love language of it you know of this whole relationship yeah it definitely smells like pesto because the hurt note and because i've seen that when she did the launch is garlic there is a hint of garlic into this herbal bouquet bit tba but mostly the aromatic bouquet with rosemary basil oregano all the good stuff yeah this is what it Citrusy, lemony, herbal, essential, beautiful. While we were talking about Italy, the summer is coming out. See, I hesitate between staying in the south or staying into this love story kind of thing. Let's do the love story. If I tell you love story, you might already think about the next fragrance, which is Aquatisiac. As the name said, you can be quite a crow with that. It's Okay, okay. So, Aquadisiac is a rose, vegetal, blueberry, deep, matcha, central, leather, smoky animal. We are in this love story still deeper. Continue this love story. This one is quite interesting. It is more like the, the after pasta, way more sexy. I remember I smelled it once shop when I first discovered it, and I was like, Okay, and then went to the next one and I went on to the woody one. But when I re-smelled it, roll it onto my hand, I've worn it non-stop. It is impressive the layers of complexity within this perfume and how empowering it is. When you first open and smell, you have the rose, you have something peppery and something green, almost a knees, tangy and a bit wet. So I'm gonna place it lower. This one a little goes a long way. Yes, the reaction that I had when I first, it was insane and still insane. Like, whoa. You definitely have something intense in terms of rose, patchouli, vanilla -y, amber, caramelly, grilled, and definitely something woody. Yet you have a layer or something a bit more soft, moussey, and the wood. Tiny little hints of nut of hazelnut and you smell the fruit same just a little hint of fruit like berry and what you can smell on top of that is the tea matcha green tea black tea a bit more toasted with the freshness of the matcha superpower giving the energy you need is definitely here if you envision the colors of this particular perfume it would be purple thing like red ish and green those, those are the colors. We definitely have this floral aspect of the rose, but also violet, which is one of my favorite 
favorite flower for the taste, for the cuisine, it's amazing. It adds such a complexity. I love it. This perfume, when you wear it, it empowers you. You are the center of attention without being like low key. But you know how to captivate. So we have those layers of something flowery, something really green with the dill, the fennel. You can really smell that. Like we still are in Italy, right? A bit like we're crossing the border. But you still have this annex. Something really green, something really fresh, but more like greens. Then we have this layer of the woods, moussey, and then this whole base of leather, of skin, of wood of something really really sexy beautiful if you want to feel confident this 100 the recipe we have created for this fragrance is kind of a juice milk check smoothie cocktail that will make you last for the night with the acro crunch kind of a duca all of those beautiful notes inside the recipe we keep on going within those bold flavors and scents and notes with Kuroti, someone who dares. This one could be the day after, like within the afternoon, you want to relax and have just a vibrant time with yourself, for yourself, or with the other person, or with your friend to spill the tea of what happened before. So, this one is a Neo Jasmine. It is fresh, zesty, mandora, floral, tea, apricot, spicy, zabi, soft. This is exactly the perfect perfume that resumes your afternoon with a girl, with your friends. When you first open it and smell, you have a totally different flavor profile than all of the others. You definitely smell the fruit and the wasabi. Like you have something spicy, but not this warm spice, but like this green spice. But also something spicy as spiced up, especially with the nutmeg. And there's something with the tea, obviously. But you can really smell the leaf of the tea, the green tea. So I'm gonna place it on the this one is so good. Like afternoon, mm, you want a fruity day, you know? But this is the perfume that I offered to my mom. First thing first, I was like, that smells like mom. Not my mom, but like a mom, you know? This, the perfume you would truly envision a mom wearing. So here you have another bouquet, more like a floral bouquet, but really aromatic. Like lavender, these tea leaves. It's a bit citrusy, bergamot, lemon, verbena, 100%. I love the smell of verbena and bergamot. That's why it makes me think about my mom, I guess. She loves it. We still have something really fresh in here. Almost a bit minty, but also clean and powdery. I think it is more powdery than it is fresh. And this is a really complex fragrance. I do not know how they made it this way. Because you have another layer, which is one of the most important one, which is the fruity one, the apricot something orange. Like if you would give a color to this perfume, it must be green and orange. There is something solar, I would call it, like something sunny, almost coconutty, something soft surrounding the fruitiness and the kick that the wasabi brings to the fragrance, leafy. And there is something a bit more grounding to this perfume as well. Almost like the dirt, the ground, like the soil. I would say this would be the day after everything happened. You go to your mom with your best friend or you bring a friend and you are the three of you in the garden in the afternoon you're drinking a tea someone's having a verbena maybe you because you need to relax someone's having another green tea your mom is bringing like a pie like a homemade apricot and almond tart you just made it's still warm it's a sunny day and since you're in the garden you have the smell of the soil of grass of the plants of the lavender and maybe also lunch eat time or you haven't got the chance to grab something to eat so they'll bring you some sushi and you have a wasabi that's, that's the story but there's something there's a nice bouquet to the table some violets lavender other nice green leaves for your mom just calm and fresh pottery i don't know there's something like that yeah there's something like that this could be quite nostalgic because it it goes really in depth really interesting one and last but not least see suit and sun very dirty i've been bringing it everywhere if the previous one smells like your mom this one smells like your grandmother it 
It's weird saying that, but wait, it really worth listening to what I'm gonna say. This is your coastal grandmother, the fucking fun one. The one that brings you to the apéro that you play pétanque with, having too many pastilles and tropésiennes. That's what, that's what it is. This fragrance, C. Sudensa, encapsulates South of France. This one is a Neo Neroli fresh pastis. Big, ice, musky, salty, tropésienne, soft. The little hint of flowers and of course. So when you first place it under your nose, ah, you have something comforting presence. Definitely smell a bit musky, almost like the Dimanche Flame, but in a different way. This is also a different flavor profile from all of the others. The first notes we have here are something marine, by the sea, the lavender, something a bit zesty, also some tea, like in connection to the mother, and also herbal, mostly in terms of um, I don't know, you're in your grandmother's home and her cabinet, she has all of those essential oils and it smells like the petit grain, like a spiced herb. I'm gonna place it there. And when you smell it, ooh, you have something more bright and also more deep. Smell something green, like the pine and the trees around, but mostly the pine. The south of France is really like you have this specific scent when you go there of the pine trees. We, we still have this herbal thing that we could also find in French pharmacies, traditional one, the one that I always go to when I'm over there. It smells like this range of essential oils of different plants or the, the cabinet of um, the tea cabinet, something like that. There's also something in terms of a garden mostly like a flower garden, like iris, lavender as well. Maybe some fruit such as blackberry, a beautiful fig tree in the middle. The fig tree definitely is here. There maybe are some cherry trees around as well that bring this hot red fruit, yet not powerful underneath. So we are in a beautiful home with those flowers, beautiful bouquets, garden, fig tree, and everything is by the sea. So you have this oomph of fresh marine breeze, a little bit of salt into it. If you walk by the end of the garden, you can really see the sea and smell all of the aromas. And by the end of this garden, it's almost as if you had some beehives and you smell the honey, like a warm honey. Something really comforting, something that you will take the next morning and spread onto your tati. This grandmother, she's inviting her friends over late afternoon after the beach. It's almost time for the apéro, so she's bringing her friends or bringing the dessert, like the goûté. We have around four or five. It's always sunny, it's warm, so they all bring it for the evening. And everybody is gathering for the apéro. They are having pastis. So it smells something anise. Yeah, this anise taste smell. Everybody's having a drink of pastis while eating those tropésiennes, so those buttery, those brioche with this whipped cream inside, this big sugar pearls. This is what it smells like. Like a group of grandmother getting together now. But it really smells comforting. Yeah, everybody is playing the pétanque with something metallic. Uh, just a little tangy is how I would describe this perfume. Something like in a home, warm, fresh, flowery, powdery, marine, salty, forest around. This is a nostalgic perfume, like it brings nostalgia. So here was the review of all of those beautiful perfumes. I am deeply so happy and so grateful that I could collaborate with Versatile for recipes. I haven't talked through all of them, but I invite you to have a look at our pages and to order her book to learn more about fragrances. Have the recipes. I could recommend you one perfume brand. I mean, she has right like on the wall line. They're all beautiful bringing a lot of inspiration, a lot of stories apparently. Hope you enjoy.